Well, hi there viewers, Princess Strawberry here. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an artsy craft type video. So here I have four velvet art designs. So here are the designs, and it also comes with markers, and here's the markers hiding over on the side. So, but basically each side is the same. So, and then this is the back. So here are the art designs. So I'm probably, out of all of these, going to color this one first. I'm only going to be coloring one of these in this video because it would take like 20 minutes maybe to do each one. Because I like to take my time and sometimes I go over it just to make it darker color. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this video. So obviously first we got to open this. You can buy these from the dollar store, sometimes Walmart, sometimes you can get them online. So craft stores definitely should have these. So there we go. So this is the packaging. You guys can see. We're gonna set that aside. We got some garbage here. So Hang on a second. Sorry, I'm just adjusting the camera. There we go. So, here we got the markers. Oh, they're sort of taped. So, oh. So, these are the markers it comes with. Purple, sometimes people call it violet. Red, orange, yellow, green, and looks like a darker shade of purple, or it could be blue. It probably is blue because they already put purple in the pack. And then here are the pictures. So here's the first one. So well, if you don't know what a velvet picture is, art design, it's like fabric. So all this black space is fabric and it's really soft and these are really cool to do. You can put these in picture frames for your family. And here's an owl. So it looks like the first one was a sea creature type one. This one is an owl sitting in a tree. Give me a second. Sorry about that. My guinea pig was chewing on the cage. And she knows better not to do that. I know it's a stainless steel cage, but I just don't want her to weaken the metal and chew through it because I've guinea pigs have been known to chew through their cages. So, anyways, moving on. So, as I said previously... This is a sea creature one. They like sticking to each other. Oh, there's stickers and tape and glue and whatever else. Not stickers, I'll be alright. There's glue, that's why. Okay. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the packaging. Because I don't want them sticking to each other and ripping. So, so this is the packaging. You could keep it if you wanted, but I'm not. So then there's the owl. We're going to take these right out because like right here, right here, and here is some glue. And it's sticking to everything and I don't want it to do that. So we got the sea creature one. Next. What's this? This is the one I wanted to color. It's flowers. It's actually really pretty. I might try and go along the line of what's on the box like copy some of it. I might not do the whole thing the exact same. I don't know yet. So, flower design I'm going to set over here because and then the last one is a horse. Oh, okay. So, since I have guinea pigs and this doesn't appear to have glue on it. I don't think so. Nope, there's no glue on this. So my guinea pigs, I could cut this right in half like I'm going to quickly. And put this in their toy box, as I call it. And they can chew on it later. My guinea pigs love to chew on cardboard. So, two pieces. Look at that. Are they the exact sign? Exact sign, totally. Are they the exact same size? I do pretty good cutting. I wasn't even paying attention. 
All right, set those aside. And, of course, the last one is the horse. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the packaging as well. And then I'm going to get straight on to coloring. i got to take the markers out of their packaging as well. But. So here are the three designs. So again, you got the sea creature. I might actually color each of these this week. So, but yeah, these are pretty cool. I might even do a video of showing you guys what each one looks like when I'm done. But yeah, I'm going to try and go along the line when coloring the flower one. I'm going to try and color it a little bit the same. Like I might color this pink one. This yellow one, this orange one, and this one the same. And then the rest, I'll probably just do different colors. But I'm not sure yet. It just depends. we got tape and cardboard sticking everywhere. So these are the markers again. We get six. Again, sticking to everything here. So again, you guys can keep the wrapper if you wanted to reuse it. But I'm probably not. So... Okay, so this is the picture I've chose to color today. So I'm going to try and tilt the camera just a little bit so you guys can see coloring. So looks like the big flower is pink. It shows pink, but this looks more like purple. Okay, and they don't use any purple really in the pictures. It's mostly pink, like, hang on, I'll show you guys what I mean. So this looks like it's purple. But in the pictures here, it looks like it's pink. Like, this octopus right here looks like it's pink. This looks like it's pink. But this looks like it's purple. I don't know. Okay. Maybe they're not being exact like they were before. When I had one of these before, the markers were always the same color as what was on the box. So, first off, I got this picture upside down. There we go. Okay. I guess I'll just set that aside. So it looks like the flower is... We're, okay, on the box it looks pink, but I'm going to be purple right here. So you got to take your time with this. And color in the lines. Actually, it doesn't matter if you color outside the lines because it's velvet. It's fabric. So this is really soft fabric, actually. And these are obviously are washable markers, so if you get it on your hands or clothing, it's going to come out. Also, when you're doing a load of laundry and the soap that you're using, laundry detergent or soap that you're using, does not get the stains out, instead of buying that expensive stuff to get the stains out with, just throw a little bit, like maybe a cup of salt in with your load when you're washing your clothes, and it'll get the right out. So I'm going to like go ahead and... Do this so you guys can sort of see what I'm doing here. So you guys get the idea. I'm gonna paint the color this flower like purple. So I'll be back in a few minutes. So here we go. We got the flirt flirt. I'll be alright. First flower done, and now I'm gonna do the rest of the flowers. Okay, so we got some more of it done. If you guys can see what I'm doing here, I'm coloring this flower partly orange and partly yellow. And then I'm going to try and go in with the purple and go around, outline the outside or like the inside, if that makes any sense. You guys will see what I mean anyway, but this is actually looking pretty cool. I try and do fun designs. I don't want the color, like the flower, all one color. Because to me, that's just boring. Like, this is an art project. you got to be creative. And it's not going to be creative if it's just all one color. Like, yeah, maybe some people will do that. But with me, no. So this is what it's looking like so far. I know the yellow doesn't show up that well. I might actually have a yellow marker somewhere in my size matters cup over here. So I'll have to have a look because this yellow is barely showing up with the this picture. Like, yeah, you can see it, but it's just, to me, it's very light color. And I just don't like that. So give me one minute to go and have a look and see if I can find a yellow marker. Okay, so I found a yellow marker. So this is the old marker that I was using. 
and here is the new marker it's a lot darker if you guys can see like this is a lot lighter like a highlighter and this is more yellow than what I was looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and try and color over this because I like the flower to stand out if you guys know what I mean so that's a lot brighter like I'm just coloring the one petal can you see the difference that's what I'm talking about that's what I was looking for is a brighter yellow so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to color in the rest of these flowers. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you go over the black spots because it's velvet. It's not going to show up. So this is like a brighter color. Sometimes the markers they give you with these kind of kits, they some people say they suck or they're too light. In this case, the yellow is too bright, like light. So this is the yellow I was using and there's, a, you guys can see the big difference. I might have to do the same with the purple. I might have to go over it just to make it pop if you guys know what I mean. So again right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all the markers I can find in my cup. So here I have my size matters cup. So I'm going to go ahead and remove every pair of scissors I have. One, two, three. Remove my screwdriver. I'm not sure why that's in there. But we have red marker. Got another red marker. Double ended marker. Another double ended marker. Some more markers. This is not a marker. This is more like black. We got some dinky little markers as I call them. Tiny markers that came with some other Crayola kit. There's another marker some more markers a hot red marker still finding some in here there's a purple marker and way at the bottom we found a gray one and I think that's basically all my markers out of here except this black one and actually I will take that out because I'll probably most likely sign my name on the back and write the date and how old I am because I've always done that so now in, this used to be my piggy bank, we got more markers in here. Markers really should not be in here, this is for pencil pans. Can you tell I'm organized? So. Just pulling out all my markers. Again, why is there pens in here? And pencils and rulers. Okay, now we're doing back to school tutorials on how to organize. So, one cup is for pencils and pens and markers and this one's supposed to be for pencil crayons only but there's an eraser in here there's another eraser in here into that there we go what's this we got a pen in here that don't belong in here this is for pencil crayons we got some double ended pencil crayons there's another double ended is that a marker nope it's a pen Again, why is that in here? Okay, it looks like I cleaned this out, but just to be sure. I'm going to take this all out. Oh, look what I found, and I was looking for it for over a month now. Okay, so only pencil crayons are allowed in this container. You know, I should probably, the bottom should be good. So this is this used to be a cotton candy container and I put tape around it to like decorate it because I used to have a lid for this. This was my homemade piggy bank, but it turned into the pencil crayon bin. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm or I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna organize my pencil crayons. Now obviously the double ended ones are gonna have to point up. I don't have a choice. So while I go ahead and do this. This will take like two seconds for you guys, five minutes for me. But anyways, I'll be right back. And there we go. Pencil crayons in one container. And I set that back over here. Pens, markers, pencils in this container. Or this, that's a container. This is a cup. And I thought it was cute. Size matters. I got that from the dollar store. <laughs> Alright, anyway, back to my little art project here. So we're going to continue coloring this. So again, this is why I picked out my markers because these are very light colors. And like, again, you guys can see the difference here. This is the marker that actually came with this kit and this came with another kit. 
So some kits, the markers are better than others. So anyway, some of, looks like all the plants are green. So I'm going to go ahead and color that all green. So. And again, if I wanted to do different shades of green, there's a green here. There's a green. So, alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and color this all green. And again, I'll be right back with the finished coloring. So as you guys can see, I used this marker. And over here, I used it once. So it's a lot lighter. It's going to be a lot lighter in some areas. Like I said before, I don't want the whole picture to be just one color. It's creative time, basically. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm thinking I might use this green for like the bottom and maybe do the middle different shades of green but I think this is gonna look pretty awesome and then of course when I'm done I'm gonna sign my autograph signature on the back and I'll do that right now quickly I won't put the date yet cuz that's for the end but so there is my autograph signature princess strawberry red so I already signed it and I might even give this to a family member or a fan I don't know yet but I'm going to go ahead and color the rest of the leaves green, and again, I'll be right back. So here is what my picture is starting to look like. Now down here, I've been mixing two shades of green, like this shade of green, with this shade, plus this shade. So we got three different shades of green going on down here, and the picture is basically half done. So this doesn't took that long, maybe 20 minutes. And as you guys can see, a hard artist at work here. Like, oh my, I'm so glad this is washable. I'm not going to wash my hands till after, obviously, because I'm just going to keep messing them up. But I'm going to go ahead and try and finish this art project tonight. So, plus, you guys have been requesting for me to do, like, more artsy, craftsy type videos. So, this flower in the picture, this is not red. This is probably... It looks like this is supposed to be orange. But, I, of course, I did some of the picture like it shows on the box. I made some of it the same, but then other places it's, it's completely different. So, this is a strawberry scented marker. And smells like strawberries. So, whenever I am upset or not in a good mood, this helps relax me by coloring actually funny story the one day I was really upset because I had a family member pass away and I decided that I would, didn't want to be upset anymore so I decided I'm going to stop being upset and going to go do some coloring and I don't know what happened but I lost track of time and I was coloring for about three hours and went like colored halfway through my coloring book and I'm like, wow, time really does fly. And I'm so glad coloring ha is like a therapy for me. It relaxes me. I can take my time. I don't have to feel rushed. But whenever I usually color, I usually put my phone on silent. Don't answer it to anyone. So, I mean, it all just depends. Now, for this flower, I think I'm going to do something like this. That look pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see it. Stripes. Just something different. It just makes it pop is what I think. Like the flower is already purple and kind of pink in the first place. But this just makes it pop. I think anyway. Sorry I wasn't even showing you guys. So there we go, and around this little heart, I'm going to do an outline purple. So that looks cool, actually, in my opinion. This is what it's looking like so far. That looks really cool, by the way, in my opinion. So, But let me know in the comments if you think I should do another video of showing you guys what each picture looks like when it's done. I probably will. Just because, like, I showed you guys me coloring this one, so I should. Look at this. I'm marking up my table. My counter, whatever you want to call it, with markers. Luckily, it, like, washes right off. So. And 
just to prove to you guys that this is washable you guys see this let it dry look at that it comes right off now I got markers rolling all over my table slash counter but <laughs> now my sponge is all multicolored but it is washable and it comes right off obviously with your hands you may have to use soap and water but it does come off of surfaces which is good all my markers are waterproof like they do come off easy as I call it except this may have more difficulty getting off this is like a sharpie permanent marker so but yeah all my markers are washable so I'm not sure why I said waterproof I'll be alright but yeah, all my markers I have here are washable, including this one. This is so cute. Whoever thought of this, it's adorable. Like, I have two of these. And they're super cute. And the best part is they smell like strawberries. So I'll be right back. So I'm just drying off my counter here so that this way I can have a clean, dry surface to finish my picture. So, I am practically almost done my picture, just going to uh, go over the middle here a little bit more with the purple marker because I'm seeing some white patches and I'm just not liking it, so. And then I'm basically done. I did go over each color like one more time and now I'm just on the purple, going over every little spot, so. It's just basically a quick little job, just coloring, making sure all the white patches are gone because Sorry, I like my pictures completely colored in before I know they're going to be completely done. So. So, there we go. Oh, we got some on that yellow. That's alright. Okay, did I get everything? I'm going to go over here just a little bit. Oh, I completely changed it, so. Alrighty, so we're gonna turn the camera. So this is my finished product. This is what it looks like. So here we go. This is my final picture. I'm actually happy with it to be honest and ba bam. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's kind of a quinky dink that it's August 23rd and I'm going to be 23 in two weeks. I just put down 23 because literally if you do the calculations, the year I was born, plot, like take away the year that it is now or no, 2017 take away 1994 equals 23. So it's basic math. You can do that with anyone's birthday to find out if they're lying about their age. It's actually kind of cool. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below if you guys think I should like do an art video of showing you guys what the other pictures look like when they're finally completed. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. And subscribe. So thanks for watching. Bye.